Yet another school shooting, authorities revealing just moments ago that the shooter this time is a sixth grader, a female student who opened fire, they say, hitting two students and a custodian before they say a teacher was able to step in and get that gun. All of this playing out at a middle school in Rigby, Idaho. The call coming in after the school day started. Multiple agencies responding. The school put on lockdown. Students describing huddling in their classrooms in the dark. The doors locked. The students then evacuated to the nearby high school, waiting for their parents to come for them. And as we have seen all too often, the tearful reunions. Students describing the sound of gunshots and screams. Tonight, authorities saying just moments ago that all three who were shot have survived. A sixth grade female student retrieved a handgun from her backpack. She fired multiple rounds inside of the school and out. We train uh, very frequently with the sheriff and also on our own for situations. I don't think we can ever fully be prepared, um, but I feel like our staff reacted and our students reacted in the best possible way for the best possible outcome. Um, we will obviously take time over the next days and weeks to, to reevaluate and see where we can continue to improve. Multiple shots rang out in this Idaho middle school early Thursday morning. Police say a sixth grade girl who had a handgun in her backpack pulled the trigger. The rounds hitting two students and a school custodian. Each of these individuals sustained non life threatening extremity injuries. Police say the girl was disarmed by a teacher, Krista Needing. This is the worst nightmare a school district could ever face. We prepare for it, and but we're never truly ready for it. Footage from the scene shows a man being wheeled out on a stretcher as anxious parents gathered nearby. When I dropped her off to school this morning, I never imagined that this would happen. Traumatized students and parents struggling to cope with the shock. Heard. A one gun shot and then right after we heard another and all my friends and I were freaking out and we were hiding in the corner of our classroom with the lights off and the doors locked. There was caution tape blocking the hallways and there were policemen blocking the hallways too and when one of the guys moved I think I saw a little bit of blood on the ground and I was helping my friends. We were all crying and we were so scared. A mother recalling the moment her terrified 13-year-old called her. My eighth grader had called me and said that there was an active shooter in the school, that um, she had heard three gunshots um, right next to her classroom, and that she had heard um, a friend of hers may have been shot. And then she said, I love you. I got to go. Bye. While the investigation is ongoing, prosecutors say they aren't ruling out the most serious charges. Once the investigation is completed, we will be filing appropriate charges, possibly including three counts of attempted murder. This morning, this normally quiet community's sense of calm shattered.